I did say that I wasn't going to record any more videos for YouTube after several of my recordings were banned because they contained far too many facts. Providing facts is clearly something which is no longer acceptable and I'm sure we all understand why that must be. As a medical doctor with half a century's experience, I had foolishly assumed that providing facts would be regarded with approval by the YouTube censors. I hadn't realised the full extent of the responsibilities large organisations have when they're committed to protecting those whom they're committed to protecting. However, I think it's important to keep trying and so I've recorded this special short film to fit in with YouTube's guidelines. I have to say this hasn't been easy because although YouTube appears to be well supplied with very hard working sensors, it does seem sadly rather light on guidelines, although there may be some which are kept very secret, since it's obviously important that these don't fall into the hands of the ordinary people like myself. Nevertheless, despite this secrecy about the guidelines, it's abundantly clear that the censors do seem to be remarkably averse to facts, especially those which may prove to be relevant. And with this in mind, I've now prepared a video which will, I think, avoid causing consternation in the YouTube censorship department. I'm well aware now that my previous videos were all intended to provide evidence, guidance and reassurance, and that having this aim I may have been um, putting my sights a little high. I mistakenly filled my scripts with supporting evidence derived from medical and scientific journals and government departments but not verified by YouTube's team of undoubtedly very highly qualified people with their exclusive access to information not available to governments or the world's leading medical journals. In contrast to my previous efforts, I've tried to make sure that this video will not breach any of YouTube's secret guidelines, so let's get on with it. First, I must tell you that the no, sorry, I can't actually give you the name of the thing which is the subject of this video, so let's just call it the disease. According to scientific evidence produced by experts at the University of... Uh, no, sorry, I can't tell you about that. Uh, I can't actually name the university department I nearly mentioned. It's very reputable and therefore obviously not acceptable to the censors, who quite rightly don't approve of that sort of thing appearing on their platform. Let's move on to the figures produced by the Department of... No, I'm afraid I can't give you that, because oh, they're, they're just facts, they're all facts. And understandably, I realise that facts and statistics are not acceptable. I do apologise again. Ah, this should be OK. Reputable scientists from a university which I'm not allowed to name who've published a very relevant paper in a journal, which I'm also not allowed to mention, have concluded that... Well, that they've drawn conclusions, but I'm afraid that then, since these conclusions are themselves based on research and facts, they aren't acceptable to the YouTube censors, and I can't tell you what they were. Um, but they did come to conclusions which I think you would have found both informative and helpful. What have we got here? No, I'm sorry, this page is also completely full of facts and is therefore totally unacceptable to the YouTube censors. Ah, here we've got some very solid figures produced by the Chief Scientific Advisor to the government of... I can't tell you which government, but it's a government, and he, or possibly she, 
has produced quite a lot of facts which prove quite conclusively that these are very important facts. Uh, and here I've got another page which contains yet more facts which were put together by a team of independent medical experts. Their conclusions were very important and interesting. I've got them here. But they're not the sort of thing I can discuss. So let me just tell you that these facts are very important and relevant. Uh, and please take my word for it. So there you are. That's everything I'm allowed to tell you about the whatever it is. Well, to be more precise, it's everything YouTube allows you to know about the whatever it is. They want to protect you from facts, I think, so that you're not overladen with information. And I'm sure you'll agree with me that that's very good of them. Anyway, I've, I hope you found all this helpful and reassuring in these difficult times. These guidelines and um, that advice show quite clearly that all the information um, here should be helpful and reassuring and I don't think anything that I've said will upset the censors at YouTube. If you want to know more uh, and you feel you'd like a bit more background or even some facts, then do please visit my website. I'm afraid it hasn't had any editorial input from YouTube where the experts are very busy and very important uh, and so I'm afraid uh, as a result my website you may find that it's packed with facts and truths and material which you might find helpful and even reassuring. Those are not the things which we really want to see these days but without the YouTube sensors to help me I wasn't able to get rid of all the facts. If you can cope with that sort of thing then you'll probably find a, a visit worthwhile and you'll be very welcome. Thanks for all your support and encouragement over the weeks. This really is my last YouTube video, but I'll carry on putting stuff on my website. Though, uh, please be warned, as I said earlier, I'm afraid the material there will be rather raw material which hasn't been bowdlerized, censored or even banned by the brilliant and well-informed medical experts at YouTube who clearly know more about this disease than anyone.